Hi, my name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. Cool. Gives us three factors, D1, which is 1, negative 2, 3, B2, which is negative 2, 2, 2, and B3, which is Five sevenths, four sevenths, and one seventh. And um, we're told that these are linearly independent. Um, so we're asked to show that this is an ortho orthogonal basis of R three. So again, we show that these are orthogonal by taking their dot product. I'll just go ahead and do it. Um, you have negative 2, negative 4, and positive 6, which is 0. We have 5 sevenths minus 8 sevenths plus 3 sevenths, which is 0. And we have negative 10 sevenths plus 8 sevenths plus two sevenths, which is zero. So now that we've shown that these are orthogonal to each other, um, and we know that they're linearly independent, um, and since we have three vectors, we know that it spans R3, so this is, um, we call this, oh, set beta. Um, we can say that this is an orthogonal basis for R3. And um, now we want to turn this into an orthonormal set. Or an orthonormal basis for R3. The way we do that is we take B1, we divide it by its magnitude. And that is 1, negative 2, 3, divided by the square root of 1 plus 4 plus 9, which is 1 over the square root of 15, or square root of 14. One negative two three. So we'll call this um, W one. W two will be E two divided by the magnitude of E two. So negative two 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 divided by the square root of four plus four plus four, which is um, two root three times negative 2, 2, 2, and then W3 will be V3 divided by the magnitude of V3, which is 5 sevenths, 4 sevenths, 1 seventh. Um, and actually we can just factor out the 7 here from the magnitude and the vector itself, because um, I'll just show it. Um, you can pull scalars in and out of magnitudes and vectors. So we pull out one seventh from the magnitude on the bottom and the vector. We cancel them. So we get 5, 4, 1 divided by square root of 25 plus 16 plus 1, which is 26 plus 16. 
um, 42. So we have 1 over root 42 times 5 or 1. So an orth our orthonormal set, we'll call it gamma, consists of Um, 